Let's go through some really common questions that we've been getting about the Omicron COVID-19 variant. First of all, what is it? It's the latest named variant of concern. It is still not yet the dominant variant seen in the United States. That is still far and away Delta, but Omicron is spreading rapidly and is expected to become the dominant variant here in the United States. It's a new variant and viruses mutate for a living. So viruses will continue to evolve and make new variants as long as there are pockets of unvaccinated people around the world or people with waning immunity. Um, this is a perfect example of that. What we know right now at this point about Omicron is it has a very quick doubling time. That's the number of days that it takes for the cases of Omicron infection to double. Cases are doubling approximately every two days. So that curve is almost straight up. It's pretty much vertical. Whereas with Delta, we saw it kind of going more up in a linear fashion. Also, we look at transmissibility and clinical severity. So how contagious is this? Much more contagious than Delta. And there are people in the world of infectious disease and epidemiology who are starting to wonder if this may be the natural variant that helps more people get natural immunity because it's spreading so quickly. We do need to remind ourselves that about 40% of all COVID-19 infections potentially can be completely asymptomatic. So if you're the one who's doing those rapid at-home tests, surveillance testing, screening testing, uh, or at work are getting tested and you happen to test positive, in fact, you may not have any symptoms. And if you do have symptoms, they may be incredibly mild, like fatigue, maybe a mild headache. Uh, some people, some of my patients, in fact, only noted uh, some rhinorrhea or runny nose, very, very mild symptoms. The hard part is the 10 days of isolation that is recommended for anyone who tests positive for COVID-19. Also, we're looking at vaccine efficacy. How are our vaccines holding up against Omicron? The not so good news is that people who have only gotten two doses of the Pfizer vaccine, that the vaccine is about 40% less effective. That doesn't mean zero. That doesn't mean it doesn't work, but 40% less effective um, against Omicron than let's say it was against Delta. However, if the person was boosted, then that, that efficacy went back up. It's not so much is it going to prevent infection, which would be great, and that's still important, but the real question is, is it going to keep people out of the hospital and prevent deaths? And so far, it does look like the vaccines that we have available here in the United States are doing that even in the setting of Omicron.